What's up all you Innova freaks? I'm Noah from the Disc Golf World, and today I'm breaking down the top 10 discs from Innova. To clarify, these discs have to be an Innova mold sold by Innova, so I don't want to see any comments about a disc that Infinite sells that's molded by Innova. Now with that said, let's jump into an honorable mention. The Wahoo. The disc floats. How can it not be on the list? Half of us know that we're going to throw in the water, and the other half are just lying to ourselves. If I could set myself a pair of wet socks in 5 minutes to pretend that my mom didn't tie my shoes on the way here, I'll take it. Let's be honest, if you've seen the disc, you thought about buying it, but then you were just too worried that the guys at League might make fun of you. Anyways, moving on to the actual list now. Coming at number 10, we have the Charger. And it has a total of 348 disc PDGA approved. That's a lie, but if you add all the letters in the alphabet, the numbers 1 through 9, and some mathematical signs in between, that about sums up Innova's awkward teens. The Charger has a cool name. Or at least it's better than just, yeah, that's the name of a disc. You can't throw a destroyer and don't want to work on form or anything actually beneficial to your game, so the Charger can fit right next to your Shrike and your turn. Now with the number 9 spot, we have the Leopard. The Leopard is a classic and end of a lineup. Most of us got our first Leopards from the starter pack. Since then, you've either grown up and became a great disc golfer, or a leopard is still in your bag. Obviously I'm joking, I still bag a leopard. And now I see why that was still in the script. The DX Leopard is a great disc that a beginner can start with. Yes, if you want to be more accurate, you can get them a putter or a mid, but man, does that dehumanize a new disc golfer spirit real quick? So, the leopard is a good alternative. But everyone knows that the guy to fear in any local course is the old man with a duffel bag full of his beat up leopards, hitting every single tight gap that you didn't even think that he could see. They hold it down with a leopard crowd, soliciting the number 9 spot. Number 8 is the Groove. How many other discs can you throw that make you feel emotions from anger to laughter? The Groove creates an emotion that no other disc does, even if that might be hate. Like take the Savant, Bison, and the Rock 3 for example. Did you even realize that one of those isn't even real? No, exactly, because nobody cares about that. But when I say what are your thoughts on the Groove, you're going to have a response. Not many discs can do that on such a massive level, which puts the Groove in the number 8 spot. Coming in at the number 7 spot, we have the T-Bird 3. This is my list, so I'm putting them all together in the same spot. I don't care about the arbitrary one more speed. Freeway drivers try to be T-Birds. That's how good they are. There is not one disc golfer alive that would not benefit from a T-Bird, and I could tell you how great the disc is, or you can watch these awesome videos of Anthony Barella absolutely smashing it. Number 6. Guides. I was torn on putting this disc on the list, but then when you take into account everything the disc has done and being the longest manufactured disc, how can I not put the AVR in the top 10? If you throw exclusively Innova, you put with the AVR. I could talk shit about the AVR, but man, you turn on one highlight tape of Macbeth wearing diamond earrings, jamming plates someone could even begin to imagine, you gotta respect it. And to cater to the demographic watching this video, the greatest disc golfer of all time, wink wink, Ken Climo, even used the AVR. So that's two goats making this putter look way better than it ever really was. But you can't deny what was done, which is why it ended up in the 6th place spot. Number 5 is the boss. If you have the power, the boss is your secret weapon. And I get it, most disc golfers won't ever be able to experience the awesomeness of the boss. Me included. But people like Thomas Gilbert, AB, and Drew Gibson make the boss like an absolute missile. Plenty of disc golfers can't handle the destroyer, but when you need a disc to handle more power, that's how you know that you're a big deal. And that's the boss. It's got the world record throw for a reason, because it goes a mile long. I get that if you can't handle the power, it may not seem like that great of a disc, but if you can appreciate these amazing flights, then shame on you. Number 4. What is the most common disc found on the course? The Shark. If that wasn't your answer, I'd honestly be shocked, because I find a DX Shark about every other round. I think I have four in my car, and I've never even bought one. Lots of disc golfers go through their phase where they think that the Shark is actually a good disc, and some of us get out. Others, however, are still losing the DX Sharks all across the country. But with how many sharks are out in the wild, I have to assume it's a wildly popular disc. Not among respectable disc golfers, of course, but skeevy stoners need their discs too, and the shark does that very well. Number 3. Consistency is important, and that's exactly what you get from your Firebird. You know it's going to give you that fade that you want, fighting any wind trying to mess with it, or any accidental anhyzers being useful for forehand and backhand dominant players alike. And when you have a player like Nate Sexton, you're set. Setting the standard for the overstable favorite category since day one, you can expect at least one guy at every league to be trying to flex his Sexton Firebird, and frankly, no one really cares unless you're playing a 2016 or earlier. So please, stop trying to sell me your 2022 for triple the price. Either way, the Firebird has set the precedent for not only a great overstable fairway, but for a great overall consistent mold in general. I'm not into any cults, but if I were, the Polecat cult is where I would want to be. I would drink blood for a Halo Polecat. But for real, Innova pulls off one of the greatest moves by a manufacturer, maybe ever. Almost saving them from losing Macbeth, Conrad, Gilbert, and more. They made the Halo Polecat because of a meme, and that's awesome. I don't know anyone who unironically bags the Polecat. Do those people really even exist? I'm not really sure. Drop a comment below because honestly I have no idea. 
But either way, it's got the two spot locked up. Now, here we are at the number one spot. And yep, you guessed it. Number one is the Destroyer. If you thought I was going to say the Rock, you probably don't throw far and lay up. Just kidding, of course. The Destroyer might be the most inconsistent mole of all time, but it's also bagged by the most amount of disc golfers. That's a fact that I have nothing to back up, but it just feels right. It's the majority of disc golfers, and I'm willing to bet that they've thrown a Destroyer. F***. I have a Destroyer, and I know I definitely shouldn't be. The Destroyer has its own terminology. How many times do you hear the term Destroyer? Like, yeah, that describes half of everyone's favorite disc. It's funny that people are quick to shit on the Destroyer, yet every 12-speed, 5-glide, neg-1 turn, and 3-fade disc would lay down to be called the Destroyer. With that being said, the Destroyer is the number one spot and the best end of a disc. What do you guys think of the list? Drop yours down below in the comment section, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to smack that like button.